We're dedicated to making the city of El Segundo the best place to live, work, and to visit. The El Segundo City Council takes a strategic approach in leading the city. We're proactively gathering insights and setting benchmarks based on input from our residents and our businesses. We're making responsible budget decisions with an eye on fiscal challenges in the future. We've established five key goals, which are enhance customer service, engagement, and communication. Support community safety and preparedness. Develop as a choice employer and workforce. Develop quality infrastructure and technology. And finally, champion economic development and fiscal sustainability. The City Council and Department Directors are excited to share this year's accomplishments with you as we move forward to fulfill our city's vision of being the hub of innovation, where big ideas take off. Resident and customer service is a top priority for any organization, and the City of El Segundo is no exception. El Segundo is focused on improving our customer service throughout the city. We're gathering feedback from our community and using that data to make strategic improvements. The way we communicate has changed significantly over the past decade, and our city is taking steps to meet the public's increased demand for consistent and accurate communications. El Segundo is grateful to the members of our commissions, committees, and boards for their valuable time and guidance. We are working to clarify the roles and responsibilities to make these groups even more effective and efficient. We pledge to you to continue to strengthen and improve communications to ensure excellence and unparalleled service. We are in the process of establishing a new citywide communications program. The goal of the program is to improve communications between all key stakeholders in the city and ensure that communications are consistent, proactive, and collaborative. Clear and timely communications will improve efficiency, trust, understanding, and engagement among residents, visitors, employees, and businesses. Finance implemented an online business license renewal system that has greatly enhanced the customer experience and streamlined the entire process for the business community. We completed a second year of surveying our residents and businesses using the Net Promoter Score, a management tool that gauges customer satisfaction. This feedback will be incorporated into the annual strategic planning process. In an effort to rebrand the department to energize our programs, Recreation and Parks updated our mission statement, created a motto, identified core values, and unveiled a brand new logo. The new motto will be an underlying guidepost to our daily activities to engage, inspire, and play. We continue to improve our interaction with the community on social media and increased our followers on Facebook and Instagram by 66%. To make it easier for the El Segundo residents to use our facilities and sign up for programs, we implemented a new online registration system where you can reserve a park facility or sign up for a class with just a few clicks on your phone. Our fantastic summer camps continue to thrive. Last year, we increased revenues by 90% by offering 120 different summer camp options for a wide variety of age groups and interests. At the library, we updated technology and infrastructure for better customer service in partnership with IT and Public Works, including improving Wi-Fi access, offering online booking of our meeting rooms for the first time, and installing self-checkout kiosks, mobile printing, and public scanners. We also recently remodeled a section of the main library in order to increase seating and connectivity for our patrons and installed new tables and chairs in our children's section. We introduced many new library programs this year, including a bilingual story time, meditation and yoga in Library Park, and a genealogy club. We partnered with ESMOA for our first living library, which offered guests the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people with unique perspectives and life experiences. The City Clerk's Office continues to achieve our goals through training our employees and myself. We conducted our last successful standalone election in April of 2018. Our future elections will be consolidated with Los Angeles County. Our next local election will be held in March 2020. We look forward to partnering with the community to prepare for this new election format. As El Segundo attracts new businesses, it's critically important that our city is recognized as being business friendly. At Planning and Building Safety, we're continuously looking for opportunities to improve the overall customer experience. Being a small city, we're able to be nimble at all levels, staff, commission, and most importantly, the council. This ability, I believe, is one of our greatest assets. One of our greatest strengths is that El Segundo is an extremely safe city. We have our dedicated public safety team to thank for this. Ongoing investment in technology, training, and equipment provides the men and women who protect our community the resources they need. 
In the event of an emergency, the City of El Segundo is actively training a multi-layered team of employees and citizens to work alongside our highly skilled public safety personnel to manage, respond and recover. Our El Segundo police officers and firefighters are working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to ensure our safety. We are truly grateful for their service. The El Segundo Police Department continues to focus on the safety and security needs of the future. In 2018, we created a crime analyst position that will provide statistics and data to our officers. This critical information will allow us to have real-time situational awareness of crime and quality of life issues impacting our community. We recently completed a department reorganization and I can tell you this new structure will enhance our ability to serve our community. As part of the reorganization, we created a community engagement division and this division will consolidate all of our outreach efforts under one lieutenant so that we can really maximize these efforts. In 2018, we conducted 39 community outreach and crime prevention efforts. We engage in community outreach because this is the only way we can be successful. We have an extremely supportive community and one deserving of our highest levels of quality service. Sir Robert Peel, considered by many to be the father of modern law enforcement, said it best. The police are the community, and the community are the police. The ability to respond quickly and mitigate any emergency defines success for the El Segundo Fire Department. Last year, the community support allowed for investments in equipment, technology, and training to protect the lives, property, and the environment from all risks. We installed a pre-alert dispatch system, decreasing our response time to four minutes and 32 seconds, well below the national average of seven minutes. We conducted over 30,000 hours of in-service training, maintaining our operational readiness. And for the first time ever, the fire department passed a rigorous state environmental safety audit with zero major findings. Finally, focusing on the business sector, we held ongoing training for the community, which included two hazardous material handling classes, all free of charge. We are dedicated to the community and the El Segundo Fire Department stands ready, continuing to follow our motto, courtesy and service. The city strives to provide the highest quality programs and services. We can only do that if we are able to attract and retain the best people. Our goal is to be an employer of choice with a world-class workforce. We hire for the future, celebrate achievements and encourage innovation so that our workforce is inspired and engaged. Our human resource team will lead the way towards recruiting the most qualified new hires and offering our existing employees new opportunities and programs so our workforce continues to develop at the city. The Human Resources Department is dedicated to employee development, training, and engagement. Last year, we launched a Leadership Development Academy to offer employees at all levels the opportunity to learn the skills needed to become our future leaders. We hosted our first ever mid-managers retreat to create a forum for that important group in our organization to improve the daily operations of the city. We want our employees to feel inspired and engaged when they come to work every day, and we want to provide them with the opportunity to grow their careers here at the city. For example, last year we hired 23 people and promoted eight internally. We are doing more to celebrate and recognize the hard work and accomplishments of our stellar staff, and we're focused on employee engagement, wellness, and professional development. It is becoming more and more difficult to attract qualified men and women to become police officers. Every police department in the state of California is actively seeking quality people to join their ranks. To attract the very best police officers, the El Segundo Police Department is offering a very generous recruiting incentive of $25,000 for qualified applicants with police officer experience. Our goal with this incentive is simple. We want the best of the best. Investing in our physical infrastructure assets is vital to the well-being of our community. Information systems and state-of-the-art technology ensure effective, efficient, and proactive municipal operations. The city recently celebrated the grand opening of the highly anticipated $13.8 million City of El Segundo Wiseburn Aquatic Center. The opening capped several years of teamwork, fundraising, and collaboration. This Olympic caliber facility will be used by students at El Segundo and Wiseburn High Schools, in addition to the city's Recreation and Parks Department and local swim and water polo clubs. The Information Systems Department creates opportunity and encourages engagements through the use of technology. We implement solutions that make our city more efficient and streamline interaction with our residents and businesses. 
we launched a series of projects to ensure the city's people, processes, and technology are operating at their highest level. More than 20 projects were implemented for new and to improve existing technology to enhance services and communication in all departments of the city. As part of our annual concrete improvement project, we replaced nearly 2,000 feet of sidewalk and 1,300 feet of curbs and gutters. We're in our third year of our five-year pavement management plan, and this year we invested $1.2 million to repave a dozen of our streets. We also completed a major portion of our sewer system master plan with the rehabilitation of pump station one and consolidation of pump station seven. We are in the process of implementing automated waste collection and recycling services. This initiative will not only encourage waste diversion to meet the state's recycling requirements, it will save the city $1.8 million over the manual collection bid over the next 10 years. We installed removable steel bollards on Main Street to utilize during farmers markets and other downtown events, bringing an extra layer of safety for our residents and visitors. To ensure fiscal stability, council maintains a balanced budget. We're taking steps now to solve future structural deficits and maintain reserves. Actions that City Council has taken over the past two years to reduce our pension liabilities have saved the city $6.2 million. These efforts will protect the long-term stability of the city through the economic uncertainties of the future. Our Economic Development Advisory Council is a model of public-private collaboration. Due to the marketing efforts that began over five years ago, El Segundo is now on the map more than ever. We are diversifying our industry base through our business attraction efforts, welcoming new companies from innovative startups and creative media to biotech giants. We become the most important five square miles economically in all of Southern California. We have become one of the most sought after commercial real estate markets in Southern California. Over the past 10 years, more than two and a half million square feet have been occupied by companies choosing to relocate to El Segundo from other markets within Los Angeles County. Last year, we welcomed many prestigious new companies, including Chicken of the Sea, Moose Toys, Cross Campus, Sojitz Aerospace, and the Los Angeles Times. We saw significant expansion at Boeing, the Los Angeles Kings, Beyond Meat, Kite Pharma, Quest Nutrition, and textile. We continue to work to attract new businesses to our city and have rebuilt our economic development website, elsegundobusiness.com, to include a database of all the businesses in the city, available properties, and new developments. We launched our new hospitality and tourism campaign, Start Here, inviting travelers to visit El Segundo and experience our shopping, restaurants, attractions, and hotels. The campaign focuses on digital advertising and promoting our new hospitality and tourism website, DestinationElSegundo.com. Our Public Works Department recently changed the name of Sepulveda to Pacific Coast Highway to emphasize to visitors near and far that we are a beach community. We look forward to continuing to welcome new businesses and visitors to our city. Consistent with being one of the hottest commercial markets in the region, last year was another busy year for planning and building and safety. There were roughly $200 million in construction projects. Approximately 2 million square feet of commercial spaces were improved or repurposed. And about half a million square foot of new commercial spaces were built out. Just some of the major projects completed last year are 555 Aviation, 777 Aviation, 1700 East Imperial Highway, 2330 Utah, Frank Gehry's building. Smoky Hollow's specific plan was completed last year. It's important to create opportunities and flexibilities to enable businesses to thrive in our city. With the new specific plan, Smoky Hollow is now ready to take off. I believe the city will reap its benefits for years to come. The Treasury team with its staff of three is responsible for all the cash management and investment activities for the city. Treasury also invests over $78 million for the city. We do this by purchasing a variety of fixed income securities to ensure the city has sufficient liquidity to pay bills while keeping our funds safe and well diversified. Last fiscal year, we earned over $1.2 million for the city. The city is committed to maintaining a structurally balanced budget and healthy reserves. The finance department implemented strategies to shrink our pension liabilities and continue on a sustainable financial path to solve future fiscal challenges. Due to the passage of Measure C, if the countywide sales tax rate is increased in the future, 
the city will be able to act to keep the increased sales tax revenue generated from sales in El Segundo here in the city. This is a great win for the residents and businesses of El Segundo. An engaged community, residents who love our town, safety preparedness, a top-notch workforce, quality infrastructure and leading technology, and healthy economic development sustained by a balanced budget. All of these combined forge who we are. We are El Segundo, where big ideas take off.